Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it is time to add the first fish to my scrapscape. Now if you haven't been following along, I issued a challenge a few weeks ago or maybe it's a month ago, who knows, I've lost all track of time, to build aquariums, terrariums, whatever you want out of only materials you already have. I chose a 20 long and challenged myself to only use materials that were found on the floor. Now if you haven't seen the playlist, it's on my homepage and it is, uh, has everybody's videos that has made one that I know of on YouTube, no matter the size of the creator, so I encourage you to go show those folks some love. I've also been having a lot of fun on my Instagram, so if you're not following me there, I encourage you to do so, as well as make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell on. I've also been trying to do weekly live streams, but having some issues with the internet here, so sometimes they're more successful than others. Um, so today we're going to put the first fish into my scrapscape um, and I just went shopping in my own fish room. Um, I'm gonna stock it gradually because it was a new filter. It was a cycled filter but the tank's been empty now for a few weeks. Um, so I thought that we would put in first some little blue eye rainbows. Now I got these from Scott at King and Queen Cichlids who got them for the big fish deal which they never made it to because of all of this stuff. Um, they're just some little blue eye rainbows. Fortunately, I have a couple of males and a lot of females, which is a perfect ratio for these fish. And I'm hoping that they're going to display really well in this aquarium, utilize that top third, and just be really active. Now, these are Pseudomugal Gertrudae, um, a spotted blue eye that are particularly adorable in my opinion. Again, I have two males and seven females. Um, I really do like to have way more females than males when working with these types of fish as they do spawn almost every morning when at maturity and it really just helps disperse some of the attention of the males if you have a bunch of females. Um, I think to partner with them I may pull some rosy loaches. I have an aquarium in the fish room that is chock full of guppy grass that where the rosy loaches have been breeding pretty readily. Normally I move them outside but let me know your guys thoughts down in the comments below. I've also been actively working outside here. All my tubs are filled and I've started moving some of the plants out. I'm waiting on a few supplies but hopefully by the end of this week. Um, so next week I'll have a more detailed video for you guys on the plants, planting, plant choice, and when we can move out fish. I also will be moving critters into the greenhouse ASAP. I had to actually um, move plants out in order for there to be enough space to add livestock to the tubs because all of my plants were just in the greenhouse from the winter. Um, but there's some, some neat ones and lots of blooms already which you guys know me, it just makes me so happy um, to summer tub. Uh, and then I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my bogs too, because that is super exciting to me. Um, of course, there's much more information on these things on my, uh, my plant channel, my second channel, Plantaholic. But I figured there's enough of you here that enjoy this that I can just show it briefly. And you can see that it is going to be an absolute banger in the, in the bog this year. Um, as always, stay home, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.